Tom Mulan, this is Josie here with you. Good morning, my family and friends and partners around the world. Just wanted to touch base as it's been almost a month since I sent out my monthly newsletter. But unfortunately, my, my computer is having some issues, so I'm not going to be sending you an actual newsletter. But I'm going to talk to you face to face. I just got done with my morning run, and um, it's a beautiful area. I try to come out a couple times a week and just run. It's beautiful here. But I'd like to give you some updates on some things that are happening here in the ministry. Um, some exciting news. We have received our new missionary. Her name is Victoria. She's from Uruguay, but she's been living in the UK. And she specifically came here to help us with the children's ministry to work alongside of Rafaela. So that's been a blessing. And actually this weekend on Sunday, Rafaela and Victoria will be doing a training to the ladies here and actually to teenagers and a couple of the men that want to help with the children's ministry. So thank God, it's, it's wonderful. And also Pastor Daniel, he traveled to South Sudan a week ago. He's mentoring a, a young man who had gotten born again several, well, about a month ago when we were in Northern Uganda. He was uh, a devout Muslim man and he got born again and his life has been radically changed. So Pastor Daniel's there with him, mentoring him and also helping prepare um, a ministry that we're working alongside of. So kind of preparing the steps of some future plans that we have ahead. And also, I wanted to remind you of the special Christmas that we're wanting to do for the kids here. For the last month, I've been inviting you to participate to adopt a child, $25 a month. That'll help buy new clothes, which is so needful for these kids here. And also to buy a toy, something special for them to play with. And then also, we want to provide a special dinner for the kids, something that they don't typically get to eat. So, if you would like to participate in that, we have several more kids that need to be adopted. $25 per child. And we will help you get special this year. So, we love you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for joining along in this ministry and joining in on the journey with us. And um, please let me know if there's anything that I can be praying for you about. Um, we do pray for you here. So, sending you love and blessings from our church here, Salvation for the Nations. and from our ministry team. Talk to you later. Bye. Good afternoon from Namulanda, Uganda. I'm here with two of my friends. We have Juliet and Kay. Kay's been work, working with us for the last several months and Julie is one of our church members. I wanted to introduce you to her today because she has an incredible testimony. So, hello ladies. Mm -hmm. hello. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for you to, to, to meet the people here who are watching and what is your name? My name is Tomasa Juliet. Her name is Juliet. Yes. And where are you from? I, I, came, from. I came from Chibari. And where is that? I was Chibari. 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 District. I came from Chibari. 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 I think Chibari is in Western Uganda. Okay. So that's where she is coming from. Okay. And how long have you been in the Namalanda area? Over the Banga, Omaze, and Namlanda Banga in Kanawa. In Namlanda Mazeo, in his in Gamukaga. Six months. Six months. So, Julie, I would like you to tell us a little bit about yourself. How you got born again. Ayagalo Munyanyore, Ebiquata, Coen, Gilgiola Kukam. And some history about yourself. So, look at the camera. That's a little too coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was a, a Muslim lady. Because so, she got married to a Muslim guy from Walua. They moved from Walua, that is from Gulu. Uh, they went to her place. Chivale, Chivale. It's called Chivale District. So after saying the guy had to move to Sudan to look for money, so he left her with three kids. When he thought about about it, uh, cause of the thoughts, cause of stress, cause of nothing was going on, she was like she had some mental problem. She could like. Feel, like feel some spears in her head, in her brain could go. So her mom had to come for her. 
the mom went into the village and bring her in Kampala for in like March. Uh, they came from the village, so they had to stop somewhere called Chibuya, that is in Kampala. She lost some stuff, her own stuff, because she was not okay with upstairs or her friends or her mind. So she moved from Chibuye to where, where she is now, footing, not using a taxi because she had no money, she had nothing to use, but she had to walk. When she joined the mom, uh, the mom is a born again Christian, so the mom was encouraging her to go to church. She, the mom used to bring her here, the church, to pray for her. So she was a little bit okay. So after she got her some, uh, she got the same problem, but this time it was worse. The Satan was just deceiving her because she was not like being sure whether she would be born again or she could remain in the Muslim religion. So after the mom brought her here, she couldn't understand anything. She had no option. So the, uh, she came here to church, Pastor Daniel helped her, Sister Joseph helped her to take her to the mental hospital where they can help her. After reaching there, she was given some medication. After all what she saw, people are caring, we are praying for her, then she had to believe that Jesus is there, it's the only way, because that's where she got the peace from, she decided to confess Jesus. Her. She thanks God after confessing Jesus has her said All what was disturbing her, they go, they finished. She thanks the pastors, the special Pastor Daniel, more of Sister Josanna again. Because they have been there for her in every kind of a situation, whether it's high or low. Uh, she's so grateful that she's okay with her headache or whatever. Uh, her mind, yes. <laughs> but she's like, okay. Now people can trust her. They can call her to give her some job so that she can earn some living. Since she's okay upstairs, she's just asking or praying to God so that can provide her own business or cut her to start up her own business because she's sure she can do something. She's so, 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 so uh, thankful. Because uh, of what God has done for her, and she will continue to confess that Jesus is the Lord and also thanking Him. Uh, asking for um, like goodness, English. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, she's asking for everyone who is listening. This goes to those people who are so desperate, who are so down, who are, they have no hope, they are so disappointed. If they confess Jesus as their Savior, all things can be possible. There is nothing she could add on. She's trying to end up. She has hope in her that, she, that God is going to do everything what she believes. Amen. <laughs> okay. That she's still at the church, she's staying at the church, she has no 
uh, doubt that she'll move soon because she's happy living at a church. She's having provision, so there's no need anyway. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, <laughs> yeah, but that you ca can you allow her to sing a song? I don't know. Sure, sing a song. You go on. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Amina. Amen. And what are the words of that song, Julie? Ebe bi 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 she had been working at an Islamic school, and because of the episodes, mentally, they had kicked her out and she had nowhere to go. She was not okay. But I want to tell you that there is power in the name of Jesus. And when she called upon the name of Jesus and allowed him to bring restoration to her heart, we loved her. We didn't kick her out, but she received that love. And, you know, with the work of natural medicine, with the work of doctors, and with the power of prayer and the teaching of the word, her life has been transformed. And I want you to know that you, you, you are a part of that when you pray for this ministry, when you support this ministry. This is why we do what we do. We're here not because of us. We're here because of people. And so thank you for participating in this ministry. Thank you for... For, for joining in on this journey of Josie on the mission field. Because it's not, again, it's not about me, but it's about people like Julie, her life being changed. And you know, every week I watch her spend time in the Word. I watch her pray. I watch her draw close unto God. And it just touches my heart so much, Julie, to see you so hungry for the things of God. And it just brings me to tears um, to know that in such a short time, God has been doing such amazing things in her. And I believe that you're going to open a business, you're going to be successful, and you will be reunited with your kids. So, we love you. We trust that you're encouraged by this testimony. Be inspired, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Amen. Amen.
And I came to Africa um, because I would like to work with the kids mainly. And in general, um, I think you can have a plan for me, and I am, you know, walking the path, <laughs> trying to, you know, discover what it is. Hey. <laughs> oh, you dear. <laughs> I think you're funny. You know, okay, I know. <laughs> so, and I knew I'm going to have a job for now, and I just feel that. Um, I'm glad for the welcome because everybody has been really nice to me. Uh, I'm sorry that my mind is there. I just love to play my daughter. I'm sorry for that. So uh, I'm looking forward to know everybody more and we spend more time together. Um, I just want to remember. I just want to remember so that. Ramanya buli mochi enna vanga kena kuna okaksa kake kumbalwa. I'm the same. Why can't we just go back? We were better off in Egypt as slaves. They were set free because of fear of the unknown. They could not move forward. And because of their disobedience, they did not inherit the promise that God had for them. So there is a mentality upon people that for me to get something, I have to earn something. But the sonship in our relationship with God is not earned, it's free. God did not design us to be slaves. I mean, if, if we look at today's society, if we look at today's society, modern slavery in today could be considered human trafficking, sex trafficking. Sex slavery. And that is not even, that's not godly at all. Jesus said that I came to set the captives free. 